Welcome to Itrafi. In this video, we will discuss about the exercise question of chapter 4 that is introduction to loops. The first question, why do we use loop in a C program? You can write the answer like this way. Whenever we need to do a walk many times, we can use loop to the walk only once. Loop is used for repeated execution of a set of statement in a program. Number two, do we need to use only one type of loop in a C program? Justify your answer by writing a program. Here you will write, no, we need not to use only one type of loop in a C program. For example, to display I love C programming five times, we can use, uh, we can write the program by using while or for loop. Even we can use do while also. And the first program is this one, include stdio.h, int main, int i equals 0, while i, it should be not uh, i, not l, i less than 5, and inside the bracket printf, i love c programming, then bracket close. So, I am minimizing the document so that you can have the full, so this will be the first program. And the same program in for loop, it will be like this way. In for loop, we will write this way. Include stdio.h that is necessary. Then int main, int i for absolutely small, i equal 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. Then I love C programming, bracket close, return 0, then bracket close. So this will be by using for loop. And we can also write the same program by using do while loop. Number three, what happen if we write while loop with one in place of the condition? Try it in sim in a simple C program. Hint. So here one program is giving while printf we must raise our voice against corruption, then break it close. When we run this program, this program will run for infinity time because in computer one means true and zero means false here in bracket we are writing one that means true while true so the condition will be uh, always true that's why the program will continue for infinite time so the answer you will write this way if we write a while loop with it one in place of the condition the loop will execute for infinite times as the condition will always remain true number four Name the different portion of a for loop. Can we put more than one statement within a portion? Different portion are initialization, test, or test exp condition, or test expression, update expression. Then, uh, yes, we can put more than one statement within a portion. For example, we have here two variables int x and y, and we declared initialize i as uh, x as 0 and y as 10, and condition also there are two condition x. And remember to different to if while well, you want to write multiple condition multiple statement within a portion you have to separate them by using comma so here for initializing also I am writing two statement for condition also I am writing two statement or two conditions and for increment and decrement also I am using here two statement like x plus plus y minus minus And inside the body statements so this will be the answer of question number four to trend false the first one if the condition of while loop is false the control come to the second statement inside the loop it will be false the control will come outside the loop not inside okay number two can we use most uh, at most three loop in a single uh, we can use at most three loops in a single C program it is false we can use as much we want. Number three, the statement inside do while loop execute at least once even if the condition is false, it is true. Number four, only if the first statement inside do while loop execute when the condition is false, it is false, all the statement will be executed, then it will exit from the loop. Number five, in a do while loop, the condition is written at the end of the loop it is true 
so these are the exercise answers of chapter 4 and in next video i will discuss the programming practice whatever programs are given that program will practice in next video so stay tuned till then take care and bye